counting down toward first pitch here in Phoenix. The Giants take on the Diamondbacks next on the show. MLB The Show has baseball from the Valley of the Sun, Chase Field in Phoenix. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the West-leading San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello. Welcome, everyone, and this is a tutorial on MLB The Show. My name is Colin Chen. But you really need, don't need to know that. No. Um. Okay. Anyways, as you can see, this is obviously a baseball tutorial, and what I'll be showing you today is the basics of the basics on batting and pitching. Hopefully, that's enough. This one goes along, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting San Francisco Giants. As manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like this. Daniel Hudson will be on the mound to face them. He's a guy that's got pretty good command of his pitches, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fall in love with the fastball because guys in the past have had a tendency to... Since we're on a road trip, batting comes first. So that's what I'll be teaching you first. And the setting we're using is timing. Timing is the easiest setting in this game. If you find it hard, I don't know what to say. For timing, all you gotta do is press the X button to hit, and it's shown here. Okay, well, just pressing the X button won't cut it. You gotta know how to time it correctly, hence the name, timing. So, as you can see there, I hit it late, so that's why I went foul. Also, you just don't want to hit every single pitch you see. You got to take pitches. As you see here, I took a pitch. However, it was a strike, but it looked like it was going to go out of the strike zone. One tip I have is not all pitches are going to be 92 miles per hour. As you've seen there, all pitches have different speeds. You can see most of you ranging from 70 to 90 miles per hour. And you got to need, you got to, um, how do you say it? know what pitch is coming or you just got to get lucky and guess and he wastes the fastball high there one and two here's a swing and a ground ball oh right back to now let's see if i can get a hit for the next few batters for time purposes, I will be fast forwarding the video to the point where I actually got a hit. So enjoy. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. Those of who are Giants fans, you guys will probably know why I put that instead of the in-game commentary. Well, with two outs and nobody on, if you've got power, hey, you go for it. I mean, he just keeps those hands high, drives right on through the baseball, full extension. That ball ain't coming back. Ryan Vogelsong will get the call to face them, and the key for him will almost certainly be getting ahead in the count early. You've seen in the past, when he's forced to work from behind, he can run into some problems. Now with batting done, now it's time for pitching, and I will use this warm-up pitch sequence to take the time to explain how things work. The setting that I'm showing you here is the meter setting, as you can see up there. This only requires the X button and the left joystick just to put the pitch wherever you want it to be. On the right side of the screen, you see your pitch list, and each pitch corresponds to each 
button on your controller. Once you have selected your pitch, the meter, meter appears. Once the meter appears, you use the left joystick to select your pitch location. Once you have done that, you press the X button, and then you will see the needle goes back. You press the X again once the needle goes to the red, and then you press X again at the yellow part. Hopefully, that's not very confusing, but hopefully you'll get it once you see the meter a couple of times. On the red, and then on the yellow. Putting on the red means you maximize the speed of the pitch, and you getting on the yellow means how accurate the throw is. The farther away you are away from the yellow, the less accurate the pitch is from where you want it to be originally. Now the object of pitching is to get an out by either striking out or having the person fly out or ground out. There is no real control on what the person will do, but in this case you want to like that. The person grounds out, you throw it to first, and he's out. To make sure the opposing batter won't get a hit, it's all about making sure your location is right. If you mess up with your location, then there's a higher chance the, the batter will get a hit. And here's a situation where I screwed up on my location and I paid the price hard. So I tried putting the pitch up there, but it ended up being a pitch that this guy could handle. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And he's turned an 0-2 count into a home run. And this will be the end of my tutorial. Remember, when hitting, time it correctly, look for the right pitch, don't swing ball pitches out of the strike zone. And for pitching, don't do what I did just earlier, locate correctly, and strike him out if possible. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.